Courtois, De Bruyne, Hazard and Lukaku. Belgium have the quality, but do they have what it takes to finally lift the biggest prize of all? Hello there, welcome to Football Now as we continue our preview of the top-seeded sides at this year's FIFA World Cup. Now we're at the Ahmed Benali Stadium, the place that will host two of Belgium's group games at this year's tournament. The Red Devils have been through a golden era when it comes to stars in recent times. There's still no trophy to show for their efforts, so can they finally lift the biggest prize of all? Belgium's group includes a Canada side who are making their first World Cup appearance in 36 years. They'll face Morocco too, and arguably their most difficult match comes against Croatia, who will be looking to go one step further having reached the final back in 2018. So as we know, Roberto Martinez's sides have been littered with stars in recent years. In fact, such is the quality of their past squads that Belgium were ranked number one in the world for four years, only to be toppled by Brazil earlier this year. It's here where the manager will give his pre-match team talk, but who will be in his starting eleven? Well, Roberto uh, tends to prefer the same formation. Uh, um, there's usually a default of a 3-4-3, although sometimes there's a very slight tweak, so that 3-4-3 becomes a 3-4-2-1 sometimes. He'll stick to type, um, he'll stick to, to players that he's been using regularly for a long time. Um, Toby Alderweireld, Jan Vertonghen, um, Jason Denier, and probably Diedrich Bayata. So three of those four will, will start. Um, and form the back three, um, I would imagine. There's a number of key players worth highlighting who it's very important for the Red Devils that these players are fit and performing at the top of their game if, if, the, if the side's going to do well. Um, and these are very well-known names. Uh, Romelu Lukaku, um, obviously the Red Devils' all-time top scorer. Um, Kevin De Bruyne, um, Eden Hazard, and probably Thibaut Courtois, the goalkeeper, is still the one worth mentioning. I think those four, are absolutely key to, to how well they're going to do um, at any tournament, I think. And as we saw at the last Euros, where arguably uh, Belgium overachieved because a couple of these players, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Hazard and De Bruyne, weren't completely fit, actually, and played through injuries to a certain extent. Um, that, that kind of shows you how, how important it is that they are fit if Belgium are going to go deep in, deep in a tournament. So the mercurial Eden Hazard set to lead his country out onto the pitch once again. The forward is captain Belgium since 2015, but a big money move to Real Madrid back in 2019 has failed to live up to expectation. So will he be able to recapture the form that brought him so much success at Chelsea at this year's World Cup? For the national team still, he has a different class that other players don't have. Like, I'm not going to say it's irreplaceable because we have other players that can play on his position. Nobody at this moment expects a lot from him anymore because those three years, yeah, you can't erase them. You've missed three years of, yeah, yeah, he's played, but it's basically start, stop, start, stop all the time. If Eden is fit, I think he will uh, he will still play, but I don't think we can expect the same things as uh, as we did in uh, in uh, in Russia, where he was at the peak of his uh, of his level, basically. Uh, also age-wise, I think more depends now on how good is Kevin De Bruyne, how good is Romelu Lukaku, and um, we still have. The yeah, the best goalkeeper in the world to save us if something goes wrong. Now this arena is pretty special indeed. It holds just over 40,000 people and is home to one of Qatar's biggest sides, Al Rayyan. It also hosts Belgium's opening game when they take on Canada. So what can Red Devils fans expect from coming to this impressive venue? So the Ahmed Ben Ali Stadium is an air-conditioned stadium, 40,000 seat capacity, and it's an amazing venue outside on the outskirts of Qatar. It's one of the key features of the Ahmed Ben Ali Stadium. It's its compact bowl design. You have a direct view unobstructed from every seat of, to the field of play. And you have the roof cladding at the soffit of the roof structure, which creates a unique atmosphere and will enhance the fan experience. Belgium may have been on top of the world in terms of rankings, but as yet the silverware hasn't followed. So do the fans believe their golden generation has the talent to go all the way in Qatar? They have a pretty good chance of winning the World Cup. I really hope they, they could actually go to the final and win it this time. They have really good uh, players. They have David Courtois, the best keeper in the world. They have Kevin De Bruyne, they have uh, Lukaku. They have so many good talents and players. 
and, and I really hope this could be the one. Hopefully, I think they'll make it to the finals, but honestly, I'm wishing to make it hopefully to the quarterfinals, semifinals. That'll be good. I wouldn't see that their last chance, but I think that, uh, as you said, they have a very good players. They are uh, listing uh, between the, the best uh, teams in the world. I think they are in the third position now, or second one. Uh, so uh, I think they have every chance to reach the final. I'm very, very excited because, my, like my mom is also Moroccan, we got one ticket and it's to see the Belgium-Morocco match and I'm very excited to see and see who's going to win. Well, that brings us to the end of this week's show from the Ahmed Bin Ali Stadium. Do let us know your thoughts at home on how Belgium will get on using the hashtag FootballNowBelgium. Next week, we're looking at five times winners Brazil. Can they make it six? We'll see you next time for more Football Now.